Good evening, everyone. I welcome you all to homeopathic musing. Today's session is going to be about a specific remedy. Uh, this is a series of our new ABCs of remedy, the first session on Zoom, which will be taken by Dr. Prajatta Vedya. And the remedy that she'll be covering today will be Helic Toaster. Before moving on to today's session, I'll quickly go through. Let's have a look at the upcoming module on homeopathic musing. So uh, we've, uh, in this year, we've started the animal series, the jungle safari. And uh, we are planning on covering the eight different groups of the animal kingdom. We've already uh, finished uh, the insect group of the plant kingdom. We had total four sessions. If you register, you will get the recording of those four sessions, even if not attended the live. So uh, the next would be uh, the next group that would be covered would be the spiders, and we'll be starting it uh, in March. This would be taken by Dr. Prajakta Vedya and Dr. Preeti Shah. Uh, it would be on the 9th and the 23rd of March. And likewise, uh, every month we'll have a different group from the animal kingdom. So do join us live. If you, in case you miss any of the live session, you can get a uh, recording uh, for two years if you registered for the course. Uh, next, we have rheumatism management, which will be taken by Dr. Ashok Borkar. It would be on the 24th of uh, Feb, that is a Saturday, from 6 p.m. onward. We have another course that would be starting from March, the, uh, from classroom to clinic. This is specially designed for students and early practitioners. And our aim is to strengthen their classroom basics and help them in strengthening, their, uh, in, help them in practicing. Whoever is wanting to practice, uh, this course will be beneficial for them as well. Uh, before we move on to today's session, I'll quickly go through the basic hygiene factors. Mute your lines all the time. Uh, keep your videos on for interactive session. In case you have any question, you can note down in the chat box and I'll be addressing it at the end. Please do not speak or unmute yourself when the speaker is speaking. Or do not scribble on the screen, make notes, share your experience and enjoy. In case if you have any difficulty, feel free to contact us on the below number. I'll stop sharing and I'll quickly hand over to ma'am, Dr. Prajukta. So thank you, uh, Taskeen, and um, good evening, all of you, um, for this our uh, new um, series where we are going to talk about these remedies, okay? So to know these remedies in details from their source, from their kingdom, from their physical generals, their mental generals, their themes, so that we are thorough in when we know this remedy, okay? So um, welcome and this is something uh, new on the homeopathy musing platform that we are starting. Apart from our uh, the main sessions on uh, musings on first Saturday, right? So let's go ahead and I'll share my screen. Okay, so let's go ahead. Uh, we are going to talk about a very, very interesting remedy. Okay, um, Helix Tosta. Hmm. So when we want to know about Helix, we'll understand from all the aspects. Okay, so it is from the animal kingdom. It is from the invertebrate group or division of the animal kingdom. It is from the order mollusk and it's a class gastropod. Okay. So now to understand helix and these uh, 
elements of the helixtosta of animal kingdom invertebrate mollusk and gastropod we need to have the understanding of all these things to come to the remedy okay so when we see animal theme how do we identify okay it is an animal case with the language uh, we are going to share a case also so we'll understand how to understand the animal uh, language or animal themes in the case but the most important uh, issue or most important aspect of the animal theme is of survival okay it is survival of the fittest yeah we know that there were dinosaurs okay dinosaurs after that there were whales there is there are more mammals and then all these evolution of animals that we see and the in the cases you will see these these themes of me versus you okay something within or outside which is affecting me or doing something to me okay some somebody is harming me and outside the more focus of the patient will be more of outside that what others are doing to them you will see themes of competition jealousy one man one up manship okay the hierarchy issues which are very prominent and need for family or group because the survival depends on that okay so these are the themes of animal kingdom so now if you want to know about the animals we have to understand them in details so if we classify animals we see there are two important parts of animals one is the vertebrates and another is invertebrate okay vertebrates simply when we say the difference is they have you know vertebral column they have a like a solid backbone and invertebrates they don't have a backbone vertebrates the the animals which come in this are mammals birds fishes reptiles and amphibians and in invertebrates what we see is insects arachnids our spider remedies the mollusks which we are going to talk about today anophils crustaceans echinoderms all of these comes in invertebrate now what are the qualities of the invertebrate so that you understand or find out in the cases so what you will see in the invertebrates because they are the less developed animals right so in the less developed animals the development of the nervous system is also very less or it is underdeveloped they are very sensitive or everything you know they will look like a plant kind of a remedies where everything all the sensory inputs like noise light vibrations pain will affect them they are uh, you know governed by their instincts so the survival themes of food and sex the basic kind of a qualities you will see but the the approach will be very instinctual there is a strong fear of sudden death okay and strong need to feel safe imagine you know they they there is they are so sensitive they are so vulnerable that there is this fear of sudden something will happen suddenly you will be able to see this in the most of the cases okay because their the life span of these animals is very short you know so it reflects or manifests in terms of these fears in our patients they are very very self centered you know i me myself so they are mostly talking about them and how things are affecting them and they the circle or the world is very small for them and kind of they look like very self centered kind of because they are governed by their instincts and uh, there is no right or wrong for them they generally you know uh, behave or uh, respond or re react in in such a way which is not like morally good or uh, you know it's not very 
thinking or logical or you know an understanding kind of a thing it will be a sudden response so shamelessness can be also you know manifested as like this because of this me myself and very self centered kind of a thing plus they are very sensitive they are vulnerable they are unable to form these deep connections hmm? they will be more of a social kind of thing. then there is not much of development so there is not much of differentiation you know so in terms of their enemies also everything you know will affect them their enemies or they they don't know okay this is the one who is troubling me they will say everything the entire world is against me you know so it is very vague undefined kind of a approach they have they are very hypochondriac if you most of the patients uh, we have seen they are hypochondriac they are the borders are very not very defined so very weak kind of so the the everything what what is happening outside can affect them this uh, affect them and then that becomes an issue for them so they want something you know most of the patient will see they'll say i need some external shield okay so to so that they it acts as a barrier and everything doesn't like affect me okay then there is this sense of suddenness he saw you no know, in, in insects with it how their life you know we just uh, how we kill the insect you know within a second so that kind of suddenness would be there in the things panic no vital way lot of extremes of you know feelings you would be able to see and smallness this is also very important that i am the the very small and something which is outside is something which is very bigger okay so these will be themes of the inward now if you see this is a chart okay if it's a, it is a animal chart which is given by dr gandhi and he has divided uh, the animal kingdoms in these columns okay it's a kind of four dimensional understanding of the animals so when we know that you know it is an animal case okay we know the sub kingdom that is whether it is an invertebrate or vertebrate okay after the uh, this division of invertebrates it is divided into another three columns with the help of habitat okay so it is aquatic terrestrial and aerial in habitat aquatic there are these what are the remedies which are there in the aquatic it is more of a womb stage over here where we have uh, the remedies like you know before mollus mollus and the crustaceans and all, okay now within the aquatic column okay it is further divided into as per the age of the remedies or as per the age of what the patient that we are looking at so if it is more of aquatic then we have something in the before mollus the mollus and the crustaceans okay then as per the age terrestrial which covers the infancy and the childhood age and aerial in the adolescence okay with this understanding if the survival strategy of the animal kingdom is of withdrawing which we have today we are talking about the mollus right so it's everything you know it's they are vulnerable they are very sensitive and they are in the ocean you know and there is a sudden this danger kind of a thing so what is their mode of survival is to withdraw to go in or to go into their shell or you know to go to a safe place where they are not getting harm okay mainly this will be in the mollus but if you see in reptiles their survival strategy will be hiding okay in predators you will see their strategy is to attack you know so those kind of uh, the survival strategies will differentiate these animals so we, today when we are talking about mollus which is over here okay here right these mollus in, uh, in the aquatic and the earth element there are 
these molars which are present. And these molars, when we come to a molars, okay, with all this understanding of invertebrates and then the survival strategy, which molars we need to give to that patient will depend on many factors. One of them is this age. It is further divided, the molus remedies, according to the age. So if we see womb, it is the, the, the part of the bivalves of the molus comes in the womb, right? You can see it here. Then early childhood, in, uh, the school age, it is more in the gastropods. And adolescence and the air quality are mainly what we see in cephalopods. The remedies like octopus, which has most higher element, will, you know, come in the old age. Okay. So, this is how this chart is divided. It's a wonderful chart, uh, you know, to, I, to point out to a remedy, to reach out to a remedy. It's very, very helpful in practice. Okay. So, what happens in mollusks? Let's talk about that because today's remedy we're talking is about mollusk. So what happens the, in the molars? Their main survival strategy is to retreat into their shell. They have this shell, right? And they go inside it. The chief energy pattern in the patient, how you will be able to see, you know, more, they will use these hand gestures or they will be talking about going forward or backward, closing the fingers. This is with the practical um, in cases that we have seen. So all the C remedies will have this movement backward and inward, going out and in kind of withdrawing, retracting. First instinct is to retreat, move in, close so that the outside world, which is dangerous, will not affect. The word mollus is also, you know, derived from the Latin word mollis, which means soft. So they are very, very soft bodies. Okay. Which is, which is an invertebrate and they to pro protect that kind of a soft body, they develop this kind of a hard skeleton or a kind of a shell over them so that they can, you know, when there is a danger, they, they go in or most of the uh, uh, molars, they, uh, from the bivalve, they will be more in only. Okay. So, this is about the, their shape and the the kind of a structure that they have. They're very sensitive as we are talking. So nervous system is not developed. All kind of suffering, you know, they will they'll feel it more. Strong intolerance to the pain. And there will be sudden spasmodic kind of a reaction. Will be there. Cramping, clenching, closing kind of a, uh, complaints will be there. Lymphatic congestion. Various variety of sensation. Soft, jelly like, sticky, you know, shut in, close, they go inside. Uh, most of the, uh, the molars which we see it on the shore or they're used for, uh, you know, food. Then that time, crushed, broken down, smashed, those kind of sensation we'll be able to see it. Hmm? And in, in terms of their vulnerability, because we are talking, they are completely exposed, right? So, what they want to do with, they feel too much of this vulnerability. And then they want to, what they want to do, go inside. Go inside or into the shelter to protect their soft spots. They feel exposed, they feel unprotected and they need this protection, shelter, security. They will talk about this going inside and shutting in, going out of reach and become inaccessible. Keep the world outside. All these, you know, kind of a patient language you will be able to see it here. Okay? So what you will see in, in the patients when you see there will be the themes of uh, not only the single uh, you know because they look like say, say plants. Okay? But in the plant cases the through and through in the entire case, you'll be see, you'll be able to see more of the sensation, how the sensitivity and reactivity, sensitivity and reactivity, 
and there will be one particular sensation that we see throughout when we go deeper into it. But in the cases of animal king, they are not as you know as simple as like a plant case or a mineral case where they are just talking about their um, incompleteness, dependency, and the lack, and uh, you know uh, how they feel incapable of doing things. In the animal cases, it is more a complex phenomenon. So you will be able to see many more themes in the patients rather than just one single. So in the molars, what we see, there is you know lithium line kind of a development we see where they need a protection or a womb. They will talk about this. You know, they need a secure place where they can go in, they can go uh, retreat and you know close and so that they can get separated from the world and protect them. We can see natrium line of development also. All the qualities of aquamarina remedies, they're very reserved, keeping things to themselves, keeping dependency, a lot of grudges will be there, you know, so much of keeping things inside. And there will be calcium line of development things also you'll see, that the shell qualities, because shell is made up of calcium, right? So issues of potro, like money, health, Okay, they have fear of and dreams of robbers entering the house and harming them. And they will see it, you know, uh, all the doors are properly closed. So these kinds of themes you will be able to see in the fish. The molars, okay. Is it going good till now? You all can just say yes, no. Yes. Oh, very good. Right. So now, if you see molars, if you divide, then there are the major three classes of the molars. That is the bivalves, which we see here, then the gastropods, which is in the center, and this is the cephalopods, that is the third class. Okay. Now, what is the difference between this? Okay. What is the difference between all uh, three uh, these classes of the mollusk? The remedies like scallops, clams, oysters, and mussels, they come into bivalve. In gastropods, there are snails, limpets, etc. And in cephalopod, we have this nautilus, octopus, squid, cuttlefishes, they come in cephalopods. In bivalve, there is this double wall shell in which the soft body of that animal stays. So it completely kind of, you know, covers the protection. Hmm? And because of that, whenever there is a fear or danger, they are completely in. So they are more in. We saw that in the chat also. They are more in the womb quality. So they are more in. So more womb water element will be more pure. And they will look like a mineral. You know, very simple kind of a kind. Okay, I stay in kind of uh, attitude. Okay. And I'll talk about the superclasses uh, after, you know, I differentiate all three. Okay. Then gastropods. In gastropods, we saw it is more of a school age, an early child. Okay. So in this, you know, they are little developed than the bivalve. They will have a single wall coiled shell. And in this uh, group, there will be movement which is in and out. So more both these processes will be seen. When there is a danger to go in, but there is also uh, you know, um, the focus is to go out because they're more developed and they want to go out. They cannot be in that just the, uh, uh, you know, that small space. And we see more of early childhood, school age, earth element more. Here. And they look more like a plant because when they go out, they feel, oh, I'm, everything is sensitive, it affects me. And, and then they want to come back in. Hmm? So going in and out like hemomelic. And in cephalopod, it is the shell is mostly absent or it is more of external kind of a thing. And they're more out, okay? And they represent more of adolescence kind of age. 
for the old age. And the element is a fire element. You see a lot of anger, adolescence issues, right? So more of air element. And they look more like an animal. This is an overall uh, you know, differentiation. Now, when we understand the superclass, what Dr. Shankaran has done, they are, he has divided the animals into different superclasses. Okay, so uh, from superclass one to superclass six, he has, in depending on their focus, how they deal, or you know, what is the main dynamic of these uh, remedies. Depending on that, there are six major classes of superclasses which he has divided. So he has put bivalve of the mollus into superclass one because. The main dynamic of superclass one is of withdrawing, going in. Hmm? In gastropods, it is in superclass two because the main dynamic of it is to go in and out, like cannabis. You know, there is a uh, period where you want to be, you know, very depressed, dark kind of a situation, and extra and then we then going out where there are a lot of colors and you, know, you want to experience it and then you want to feel it that heaviness and lightness of the hemamelid okay so gastropod is similar like that so it, they, uh, he has put that into super class 2 and in cephalopods it is in super class 5 because the super class 5's uh, main dynamic is to move out you know they feel so stuck in a situation that that way of you know is going out the, the best example is of our this argentum nitricum sepia from cephalopods nitric acid they all come uh, into the superclass five okay right so from here this is uh, from the chart where we are looking at this is bivalve bivalve your gastropods and the cephalopods okay now today uh, we'll talk about gastropod because the remedy belongs here okay so gastropods are from water and the land okay they in water they are marine and the fresh water and then there are different kinds of gastropods which are there today we are going to talk about the land and this land gastropods in that snail Okay, so we are going to talk about this today. And all this is, uh, you know, we are going to cover in our uh, upcoming course, which Skeen has mentioned in animal series. You know, there are going to be uh, the details of these gastropods. In fact, the entire mollusk, we have done this uh, course before in all the seven lectures. In details we have already done but we are also going to talk about our new experiences and new cases for these remedies in our upcoming course yeah. so gastropods when we see more earth okay in and out and we are talking about land snails okay they have more school age so features of career security and building you know building some strength structure finances will be there Okay, and from that, we are going to do the helix remedies. Okay. So, today's remedy, helix tosta. You can see how it looks. Okay. So, there is this body and this shell, which we are talking about. A single shell, which is coiled. Yeah. And in between, uh, below that, there is this organism. It is also called as a Roman snail or an edible snail. So, this is mainly used to eat. Hmm? It is an air-breathing land snail and it is a highly prized as a food. So it is very difficult to cultivate and rarely farmed commercially and only available in the wild. They often crawl on the walls and trees. So there, there can be a lot of accidents can happen. They can fall and you can see, you know, the rough patches on their shell because they're, the accidents, because of that, there are a lot of the injuries which are there okay but the snail is able to you know repair that quickly it is big enough uh, the shell which is there 
one big sh shell is there which is not like completely covering the body if we see a snail right we see something outside and then there is something on the kind of on the back or around the neck to back there is this shell which is there right usually it has the whorls okay and the uh, when you see a danger the the snail the body of it like kind of clockwise you know coils it and which goes inside that shell hmm? so this has this in and out of uh, the gastropod okay in helix tosta remedies if you see they are also very dependent remedies most of the bivalve remedy when we are talking about them more of womb quality right so they prefer to be in in the in that their safe place so more of you know there will be lot of dependency that we see in the bivalve cases and uh, uh, um, till that time that you know they are the most of the remedy can be filter feeders also that you know they wait for something uh, so that they can they get their food or you know they get attached to the uh, rocks or a substrate where you know they can be they can feel safe and secure but in helix tosta or then specifically if we see in the gastropod remedies then they are also dependent on the support system but they are able to perform something which is independent so you will be able to see that you know those patients who are going out doing things they are career oriented they want to earn money and you know of uh, their performance and all of that will be able to see you look on the surface will be very strong confident can be bossy also in their approach in the kind of uh, the patients that we are seeing they kind of entrepreneurs they can be you know uh, we had one case who was an uh, lady who who was uh, was working into corporates and she was at a very good position right and that kind of attitude they can say what they want to say they don't care much about others okay very courageous can go beyond expectations and there was the most of the uh, the material which is available is from the for the helix tosta and there was some this proving which was available by muller and to and the the strongest sensation which was uh, in the proving was this heaviness or this armor okay so because of that shell which we saw there this heaviness like a load or as of a load which is there on the back or the shoulder and most of the time they will uh, you know say that emotionally uh, weighing down because of i am under that pressure i am so heavy emotionally it's me weighing me down you know it is uh, pressurizing me kind of a, that sensation will be able to see and mostly it is felt on the you know head or the back as per the when we connect to the source and then there was this uh, kind of very interesting um, proving symptom was there as if you know that sensation which is where there is a helmet which is stuck okay and then they can't get rid of it it's kind of expressing that shell hmm? and like something stuck on my back or both the side and i cannot get off out of it and it's kind of restricting me you know my head my movement like that and these videos are there very interesting maybe you know we'll share those uh, links so you all can see later in interest of time then buildings that was also very important theme that came up um, during the proving lot of dreams of buildings purchasing or selling building windows in the building there were dreams like a woman is telling me she has to lose her house and land for the whale that is coming from the ocean my husband and i were buying beach front property touring a house valued 1.4 million dollars we were seriously interested in buying and indicated that to be a real estate agent the price did not phase us so these kinds of dreams show us that this is a very important theme which is there in the these remedies okay they are very courageous and confident you will be able to see this kind of personalities okay uh, one prover described much more courageous confidence improved i did many things during the proving that i never felt the confidence to do before saying it like it is especially confrontative to men i feel in charge 
I can do what I want and say what I what I want. I don't really care of what others think. Then money is also important theme in this family, like wealth, purchasing expensive things, things. Then, uh, you know, uh, the, there were dreams like I was floating down a river and passing out money. A dream like I wanted to buy a diamond ring for fourteen thousand, you know, dollars. I took a nap and slept past the time the store closed. I I was thinking, do I really want to put this much of money on my finger? And then I thought it is worth to do that. So those kind of you know dreams also show that the money is also very important thing. So working for money, finance will be also a theme. And physically, physical aspect, if you see, there will be this remedy is a very very important uh, for where there are you know the bleeding happening, like kind of uh, hemoptosis. Or uh, whether in the tuberculosis uh, cases where the hemoptosis sets in, or tuberculosis of the lungs where there are a lot of hemorrhages. Many uh, uh, journals which I read for the cases, most of the cases they have given this remedy as a you know to, for the tuberculosis only. A lot of chest um, pathologies, anything related to the bronch, uh, you know your lungs basically so those are a uh, very good indication for the helix hmm? hemoptosis thysis respiration difficult ascending then very irritating kind of a cough which is preventing from the sleep very dry tickling kind of a cough bloody expectoration hmm? chronic hoarseness of the voice and tuberculosis of chest Tuberculosis with hemoptysis, this remedy has given very, very good results in all the cases which I get. Allen's write about these tubercular affection, the constant dry cough, difficult scanty expectoration, constantly failing strength, night sweat with first sleep were ominous when hemoptysis sets in. And snails have a tradition of curing these kind of tubercular. Sarkar, Dr. Sarkar has also written in the keynotes, you know, this is the best remedy when there are hemorrhages from coughing, especially if there is a family history of tuberculosis. It's a very important remedy for tuberculosis with hemorrhages, cough with blood spitting and continuous hoarseness, cough at night, preventing sleep. And the keynote symptom, what Dr. Sarkar has mentioned, is dyspnea is aggravated from ascending the stairs. Okay, so this was about helix toaster. In the land snail, there is another remedy which is also called helix aspersa. Okay, that is the common garden snail. Okay, not much of uh, the material is available, but they have these fatigue with heavy legs drowsiness after eating, the sleepiness in the morning, migraine which is there in temples or front region, which is aggravated from morning eating, coffee, noise, sunlight and better by cycling kind of a mood. Horiza which is watery, stuff nose, feeling of dryness in the nose, stinging burning eyes, photophobia, red rosy cheeks, flushing of the face, Appetite increase, flatulence, stools are very offensive and burning itching. Okay. So, in terms of the difference, if you want to see the, then helix toaster is the toasted, uh, the Roman snail, helix aspersa is the garden snail. Okay. So, in, in helix toaster, and most of the, the appetite, you know, voracious is seen. But if it is more, because the helix toaster is the edible snail, possibly more appetite increase will be able to see in helix. And this helix toaster is more of a tubercular kind of a personality we'll see. And here in Aspersa is more of psychotic. And more of lung affection will be in helix toaster. Yeah. 
so now let's see it with the case example so we'll be able to you know understand this little better okay okay so this was a case of a depression okay we had we had um, given this case uh, for an analysis and i thought i'll do the analysis over here to understand it this remedy in much more detail okay so we'll understand the case with understanding of you know analysis together so it's easy what we have learned now to see it in the case so uh, this was a patient who you know who met uh, me uh, i think quite a long old almost 5 6 years before and she met me through some social media group she was very act, uh, active in that and um, she came up with around you know 44 45 age uh, female she was mainly you know uh, talking about this confusion and this suddenness which is there she feels that I, it is so sudden that i feel very tired and then there is this confusion it's been 4 years and she has gone to a lot of psychiatrist and not it is help little bit you know but it is still continues and i'm always scared this is kind of a, a complaint that he she had i don't feel like walking i don't want to do anything and anything which is new will bother me you know so this was the main thing when she came she said okay so what did we see here let's try to understand okay, okay with the each slide we'll understand what we are seeing here so we saw there is something which is sudden right okay what is what is sudden there is this confusion okay and something which is new bothers right so what does it tell us that suddenly something happening which is making the uh, you know person feel confused and anything which is new is also affecting it gives an idea of something which is on the less developed kind of a, a personality which will be on the left side of the chart right the early development okay let's go ahead. i will get anxious to go in the train i will not be able to do it that's the first thought that comes to me and everything becomes you know new to me it is so very sudden when it all started i don't feel like meeting everyone and inside i feel very confused inside i feel very different i feel very restless and i don't know what is happening unable to you know know so what do we see here there is again something sudden everything which is new inside is something different and outside is something different right so there is this theme of inside there is something feeling inside and there is also something which is happening outside the outside is affecting her too much going in the train everything outside is so new sudden okay and she is to go in the train just imagine the thought of just going in the train so how trivial it is you know and that affect this also gives an understanding of that person or that individual okay can we go ahead any doubts here okay so let's go hmm? then she says my son is very demanding i should be left alone when i am low i don't want to you know do things for him also but then i have to do no because i have to be a good mother he is 12 years he is 12 years if he doesn't get from me what he needs 
आई हैव टू बी देयर नो फॉर हिम माय हस्बैंड कीप्स ट्रैवलिंग आई एम सो यूज्ड टू बी ऑल अलोन आई एम वर्किंग अलोन एंड आई एम नॉट नाउ सराउंडेड विद पीपल सो बीइंग इन हिज इन हर कंफर्ट स्पेस और बीइंग मोर ऑफ इनसाइड नॉट मीटिंग आउटसाइड और नॉट मीटिंग अदर पीपल ओके so but then you know inside sometimes she feels very heavy so she said ki i have joined zumba classes and that time i feel light i also feel happy while doing zumba so it's a weird kind of a feeling that i get that i am i don't like to be with people but when i am with them i feel light but at the same time i also want to be alone and then go you know to my comfort space and it is so confusing okay so what do we see here what do we see here that there is this duality kind of a thing no alone or whether she wants the company or no then there is something she also feel that she want to be a good mother but being a good mother is affecting you know? so there is a lot of responsibility and she feels you know uh, that it's too much for her right and then when she goes out or do does this zumba or be with people what she feels is more of light feeling that she gets. and then there is this confusion confusion is there in which age mainly of the anal stage or this toddler Right, whether to do this or that, that is a kind of confusion which is there. It also looks like a subclass of the plan two, right? Subclass two of the plan, right? In and out, kind of hemolytic, everything affecting. Okay. Then further, she is an entrepreneur. Okay, so see, interestingly. Uh, she is making this furniture so designing it making it and you know in terms of that is she is very creative also but she feels i am not able to do it that is the first thought that comes to me i am not even settled my business is picking up recently i am thinking to start something new a new line of furniture furniture and anything but it, there are too many efforts you know a lot of efforts and then i feel whatever i am doing is not enough and i feel at the end of it at time and there are not enough results that i get it's been so long that i'm working working with no result maybe you know i have to uh, do something hard try harder so what we see here is the feeling of that i'm not settled okay so calcium line of development we were talking about so it is more confirmation for molars because molars they feel this unsettled jittery kind of a thing because you know that they are unable to settle down okay there is lots of no protection vulnerable also there are themes of the work and the business and anal theme and more of earth element you know wanting to settle down get better in the uh, the finances of the the business yeah so we see this molars as well as the anal and the earth qualities here okay let's go ahead then she says there is lot of confusion okay so many things on my mind and my mind is never clear so much of money i am putting in but nothing is coming back from my business i need to settle now. if i stop what will i do if i don't do this then if the work is good no then i feel good so work is such a important thing if no work then it is again that confusion comes up but i just feel like you know being alone i need to be alone even if i want to go somewhere but then i want to go alone and i like to be left to myself you know but sometimes then i feel lonely also which is a kind of a very weird thing that i feel okay so what do we see here can anybody say 
You can write it in the chat box. Duality, okay, yes. In and out, very good. Confused, yes, right? So all the themes are there here, right? What we what we are looking. So we are very sure, no? This because of this confusion, there is this toddler issue. She's talking about money, work, settle, security, and more also about the career. Hmm? Two days ago, I will be different. Then that time, I feel the feeling gets overpowering. You see, these this overpowering something is. Having more power than me. This sentence means that. And this kind of a thing, you know, gives an idea of the animal language. Something is overpowering me. Hmm? Continuously, I finished uh, two days before I was feeling I should take a break, you know. I just leave everything. I just go to some place when I'm not working. And then, you know, I just stay there. But when I think about it, I feel that will be, you know, that will be more worst. And that I will feel more restless at that time. But I get these kind of things. Hmm? So what we see? Taking a break. Going to a place. A, which is a close place. Or with this, which is within her. Right? Going. She wants to be with herself. So that she leaves everything. And the affecting... Uh, environment which she feels also the work theme that we are given okay then working is a self esteem you know, it makes me feel better what is working for her every little thing but I feel anxious that if son doesn't come back you know five minutes he, go, he, become, he gets late then all sorts of thoughts they come to me and everything bothers me that son will not be with me. Something will happen to me. I will be all lonely. And continuously those keep thoughts keep coming. All the negative thoughts. Will he be happy? You know, will I be able to take care of him? Those all trivial kind of thoughts that keep coming to her. Okay. So what it shows us. The self-esteem. You know? So proving self-worth. And then this anxiety trifles. The thoughts which are overcrowding. Okay. Since last two to three years, he's very he's close to my husband. So she feels that my son, because of all this, he is going more towards uh, more attached to my husband, and then he will not listen to me. In the sense, I'm too strict, you know, actually. But he feels that you are always, you know, uh, correcting me and finding my faults, and that is how. Uh, He's drifting away from me and, you know, he's more close to the husband now. And then I keep thinking about future. What will happen? This is more of, you know, of school age quality. Too strict. Yeah. Then the fears. She's scared of flight travel. I feel very jittery. My hands get very cold. I'm very confused. I get scared. And now when she had come to the consultation, that time also she came in the train. So she said that time also that motion, no, it was like affecting me a lot. I get scared. Suddenly loud, loud noise come, new noise come. It bothers me a lot. I can't tolerate it. What we see here, the loud noise affecting, jittery feeling, okay. And air Train travel. Most of the mollusks we see that fear of height which is there. Which is because they don't feel grounded. They don't feel, feel the settled kind of a thing. Gives an hint to the mollusk. Most of our patients we are seeing the fear of height for the mollusk. Then about the relationship between me and my husband. There is some distance. I keep judging myself. Why did he say this? You know. I'm not feeling well inside. I'm a total failure. These kinds of thoughts come to me. I get so much appreciation for my work. But I don't get any money or success. 
then we also what, what will happen you know if you don't have money you won't be heard or you know you will not have any say with your husband also so you need it you need the money to be happy something of your own maybe i am not selling it very well maybe i don't know how to sell i can't approach people you know so i'm doing my work good but i'm unable to market myself or sell myself and that is maybe my challenge you know that is what she feels so what we see here the money right appreciation difficulties to communicate with people you know to market what what do you need for marketing talking communication being with people right that is what is not happening with her and her nature is very quiet timid i don't express myself easily i'll try and accommodate other people you know my uh, but my parents will understand you know my husband is a very short tempered kind of person he will say anything and then you know i have to keep thinking about it i am very uh, anxious like what he will say you know i am very careful also and i don't like that kind of environment where you know people don't talk to talk to each other and if i feel very lonely so we have some characteristics in the nature of it right quiet timid difficult communication then she says the work was something which was very very you know healing or something which i really like is the garden that she had and she used to stay in a house where there was you know the big garden outside the house was there kind of a bungalow where which she used to stay and i used to, and that time she saying and recently i think she was shifted in the new house and she saying i that that time i used to like you know i used to like to walk into my space my old house had a, a kitchen garden and i used to do lot of this uh, planting and potting and i really love garden this is the one thing which she really enjoy and there i am like you know very uh, creative also i'll do new things in the garden and she says i that garden i need it i see a part of me there you know so this gives this is something which is not just uh you know that she likes to be in the garden something more uh, in it i used to make compost in seasons you know i used to sow things for 3 months and it used to keep occupied me all the time i used to grow and bring and cook the food from those veggies or that she used to grow and that time i used to feel a lot of worthy hmm? and that was my space that was my personal space that was my comfort zone i was very 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 active over there. so this you know gives an something not just an hobby but something beyond it some connection uh, which she has it over there right so what the, the very beautiful thing here i used to walk into my space that is her space you know and doing things industry self work these are the themes which are here okay i used to like you know just making compost putting my hands in the soil it was kind of a transformation and then gardening as a tight schedule it was my top priority so much liking for the gardening it keeps me what is the experience that it keeps me connected since we have shifted into this new uh, apartment so it's kind of a you know a flat kind of and they are staying at say seventh floor so she feels uh, i don't feel grounded i am not close to the soil there is no sunlight and i think all this is you know affecting her a lot i couldn't grow anything i was angry upset and then whenever i get chance you know i want to resort to this my happy uh, hobby of this gardening and you know pruning and cutting and soil and what and i'll forget all the worries the experience is that you know that was my life that there was no social life and now the garden which i was so much attached is not there any okay so we see how it is you know it's not just the hobby there is some deeper connection also that we see so grounding earth sun no social life that is what we see here hmm the little bit more about her i'm not being understood properly then i feel very hurt 
i am always emotionally dependent on my husband then money i feel it's not mine i'm not earning that's my husband's money so that is also you know bothering so i i don't have any control on anything i don't i can't do what i really want to do i don't have that freedom from the uh, money that gives you yeah so here also we see money freedom career you know this dependency duality emotional and financial also dependency we see each year but at the same time she wants to do it right she is doing it also she is an entrepreneur she wants to do it. i feel trapped in this whole situation i want to go somewhere i need to go out in the open he takes over the whole house you know that husband which he is talking about and i just feel like i don't there is nothing of my entity over there there is nothing of me and i'm totally confused and you know uh, i like to go out feel happy to go out and then as if you know there are these two kind of uh, persons in my head which is there he is very dominating i don't like when he takes control and i feel trapped when i when i am there in that kind of environment i get very hurt i avoid him because i can't handle it so more of a avoidance you know so more of a psychotic that is trap open we see confusion control and identity no more of a submissive kind of a person no she is not very retaliating so it's more of the mild kind of a personality so it gives us less develop left side of the chart yeah somebody was asking about no early development how do we see they are more of submissive more emotional you know more uh, female uh, qualities uh, will be able to see it then there are dreams of somebody is running behind me with a knife they are trying to scare me trying to kill me so this also gives an hint uh, us that it is kind of a you know animal kind of a language i'm trying to escape all the situation the animal is still running behind me and then i wake up from these horrible kind of a dreams i have fear of snakes i'm scared of lifts because unknown lift i don't know where uh, you know it will go own lift is okay but then somewhere if i go then i'm scared of those uh, lifts so what do we see in the dream there is a danger danger from behind everything is you know kind of a, uh, a danger to her fear of snakes are there and fear of unknown something which is small the lift you know the small spaces are also affecting right and then another thing where i don't forget anything i'm too sympathetic i'm too scared as a person i also have a guilt feeling appreciation matters a lot to me i always compare you know he is an achiever he is doing better and i am not doing anything i like squirrels you know they make sound i like those kind of uh, animals they run very fast yeah so sensitivity you see appreciation comparison running fast that she wants to do what what like what she likes about swirl is that she that it is running fast you know so these are all themes that we see okay so i think and at the end of it everything after we spoke she said uh, the medicine will not homeopathic medicine will not have a side effects right and she like then and then only i will take the remedy so this was the case and um, we gave her the remedy and she did really really very well uh, in terms of her anxieties this confusion this fears and this duality and you know she was able to you know work she was able to be in a space where you know with people or that was there was no this duality which was there so what any remedy we are talk uh we are talking about right so any any guesses your thing we did it in a lot details right and then we have shared this for our case analysis also
no okay no problem so what we, we what we saw here of course there were, uh, we had a hints of animals right in the dreams in comparison and domination okay then we had themes of mollus like this grounding confusion suddenness slow fast inside outside heavy light there was fear of trains of travel heights jittery closed you know communication problem so it was a mollus you know so we come from animal then we come to invertebrates and then mollus from the mollus what we see we had you know themes of lithium life of dependency and uh, the womb qualities we also had natrum identity issues and you know kind of keeping things inside and then calcarea line of insecurities of money health finances yeah and then there is a confusion and control also but is it a by wall what did she say was she saying that i want to just stuck i don't want to i just want to be here to be in a safe place what she was talking about that i would walk into my space you know she was talking about more curve money connection to earth so it was more of a earth element that we see rather than just the womb element more of a calcarea line anal and school age issues uh, were there more and more the earth element so that is how it it is not just a it's not a bivalve but it's an gastropod right so we gave her a helix aspersa which is in garden snail okay, and that connection of her with that whole her hobbies that we saw Hmm? and she really felt much much better in terms of sleep mood everything and she was getting more you know she was going to her more previous house also uh, for the gardening and which was helping her she became more active through which uh, the you know group that she came to me for the treatment so she became more active in that and then she described this beautiful incident that you know i love my morning walks in the garden even if it's raining i will go out for the walk i'm always on the watch out for the garden creatures my heart squeezes when i hear the squish of a snail coming under the you know so that kind of a language help us so she did very well with the remedy and now she is stopped the treatment also but she you know comes up whenever she want or you know whenever there is a need okay so we gave her helix aspersa okay and we did the the differentiation of it most of the uh, remedies of uh, helix the land snail remedies material is available is only of the helix toaster okay if you all have any questions you can tell me okay so i think uh, this was a case and um, uh, we had discussed this in our uh, channel and we have the winners um at the end of this i will announce the winners and they are going to get some exciting gift from us uh, but before that um yeah so i think um, i'm very very happy uh, to you know uh, uh, announce or just share um, that you know we are we're doing this uh, animal course uh, animal series which we have started um, in jan in this year it's an one year uh, whole entire year module we are going to do all the uh, classes the eight classes of the animals in a very very detailed manner okay and this is a very very unique program why i would say because uh, i want uh, you know all of you to take the benefit of it to understand the remedies in such a detail like the helix toaster you know we just know okay it is a uh, a mollus you know only very superficial but when we understand the remedies in deeper sense in aspects in their their source qualities their kingdom qualities their sub kingdom qualities then then we are very very sure 
that this remedy is going to work. We also had a case of Helix Tosta, which we had described in our uh, mol uh, the Mollus course that we have done, which is the seven uh, lectures which are there, which are already did. But in this animal series, we are going to uh, talk more about our experiences in the last years with the cases. Hmm? So just an highlight of this animal uh, course that we are going to do, because it is the only course, I would say, that which integrates everything, you know, everything of the remedies, you know, from keynotes, provings, our approach is going to be very, you know, uh, uh, contemporary to the newer concepts like the kingdom and sensation and PM and superclass. Hmm? So it will help you to understand from all the aspects, the remedies. All the uh, eight subgroups, it's going to be very, very comprehensive course. Okay where we're going to cover sea creatures. We just did the insects, then birds, mammals, reptiles, spiders, mollusks, crustaceans, entire animal kingdom. And those of you who have already done our mammals and mollusks course, I would like to tell them that we are going to add a lot of cases and material uh, with our last uh, few years of understanding and uh, the different cases. So it will be a good revision for all of you as well as something new learning will be there. So I highly recommend all of you to do that. Very clinical, you know, it will mainly we focus on a lot of cases and demonstrate different type of cases and practical application of it. And we are going to do it with like me, Preeti, Dr. Chanda, Reni, Jyoti, all of us, you know, where the teachers or whom you all can relate to you know, because the musings idea is to learn and to share and also you know to learn from your own mistakes so we are not trying to show you that okay we did a mistake but then you know how do we understand this case differently like that so you all can connect to us easily you know we are approachable so it's kind of you know a, a discussion where you can share your cases and we learn from all of it. So I think that is the musings uh, very, very unique concept and it's a very provoking approach which we follow. So it's going to be very, very helpful and it's a very a course where we are going to take you from basic to the advanced kind of a supervised the structure which, were, which we are made of this course is the step to step by step understanding of the kingdom and then the animal chart and, and understand through PM and then super classes. So, you know, people who are new to even this sensation of PM, they will be able to understand and prescribe these remedies, I'm very sure. Hmm? So, I highly recommend all of you to join. Also, you if you want to do a, like a single part say you want to do the birds or you just want to do the mammals, those things are also, you know, we have made it available for students. We have special um, plans. So you all can connect to us to get the benefit of it. Hmm? From Jan to December, this is the entire schedule and we are going to do these topics entire this year. And I'm very, very excited to do this. So I invite all of you to be here with us. Okay. Any questions? Yes, frequency, uh, it was initially for two days we repeated her and then monthly we used to repeat. But once she started feeling better, then we stopped uh, the, you know, the repetition much. So good. 
anyone has any question can unmute themselves or put it in chat yeah we said no fear of helix there are fears of say uh, the robbers which are there fear of heights which is there delusion of this sense the you know there is this uh, the stuck feeling is there no so there are a lot of delusions also which are there in terms of this uh, heaviness and uh, kind of you know as if wearing a helmet those proving symptoms which were there okay so good so thank you all of you to be here and um, we are going to uh, do this every third friday of the month so see you all next next month for with another remedy okay yes to be provided you the necessary link for those of you who want to join the course uh can uh, register through the link given in the chat for both animal as well as the classroom to clinic course see you all thank you bye thank you